air fry your favorite foods and get the crunch without the calories. You can also bake, toast, broil, roast, convection bake, and keep foods warm all inside your 7-in-1 toaster oven. This is GE, General Electric's answer to the air fryer. In this video, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna tell you all about this particular big, powerful, gourmet GE air fryer. Then I'm also gonna talk just a little bit about air frying, some air frying basics in case you haven't used one of these things. The GE air fryer, here's how it works. Uh, it's basically got a couple of modes, and this is just a straight up oven door, just straight up. We are making some potatoes right now. It's got a bunch of different modes. You select the modes right here with this dial, spin them around. Right now it's on air fry. You can select toast, oven, uh, convect, not convect, all that stuff. And then over here is the timer. So for more time, you just crank it up, crank it down. That's the power button. Really simple. This air fryer does come with two different styles though. You can get like a deluxe digital readout kind of thing without these knobs, but we kept it simple. We just got the knobs. The air fryer itself, and these are just about done right now. The air fryer itself is, like you can see, it's just a straight up oven. It's just like a mini oven. We got our potatoes in a basket. You will air fry in a basket as much as you can because that allows the air to circulate and cook the food. Cooks it from the bottom and the top and all that. You don't want to overload your basket though. You don't want to put too much stuff in there. I might have overdone this just a little bit. This is just garlic uh, potatoes. I would recommend if you're air frying, just add a little bit of oil. It just tastes so much better, a little olive oil. But a lot of people air fry without olive oil or any oils because they're going healthy. They want it to be really good. And you can cook without oil. My wife does that and it still tastes really good. A couple more things about the air fryer. It does heat up. This whole unit gets pretty hot. This is a convection oven. It's called an air fryer, but they're really just little convection ovens. That just means there's airflow in there and there's airflow coming out the back. A little bit. When we use this air fryer, we pull it out from the, the cabinets, you know, just so it doesn't heat up back there. Then when it's not in use, we do slide it back. You can see it fits under a standard cabinet, but this is a bigger air fryer. It's one of the biggest you can actually find. A lot of air fryers, are small. They're almost like the size of a jug of water. They're almost like the size of a food processor or something, like really small, just put a few things in them. This thing has multiple trays, it's big. You can do like cookies or multiple fillets in here. Like it's a, it's a good size oven. It does come with a tray, but if you air fry on the tray, you're not gonna get the bottom. You know, the whole point of air frying, if you got it set on convection on air fry, is to get that air blowing in from the bottom. The air comes in from the bottom and it just makes it crispy and cooked all the way around. All right, so this is the GE Air Fryer. It is the deluxe air fryer from GE. There are definitely some more basic models. We've been really happy with this one. We've been using it for four or five months, something like that, and it hasn't let us down.